I can go backwards. Well, that's huge. And she but can start from no no, no uh, inertia. Yeah. Is that a word? Dead I don't job. even know if this is real. Dead and dead then job. she wiggles in some cute I way. Wiggle. Chip and Joanna Gaines, the famous couple from the show Fixer Upper, not only transformed their home, but also captivated the audience with their family story. But recently, their lives took a new turn when Chip Gaines is now saying goodbye after Joanna's tragic diagnosis. Viewers are wondering how it all happened. What will happen to Fixer Upper now? And why are reality TV viewers so shocked by this? Let's explore the story behind it. When Fixer Upper star Joanna Gaines was hospitalized in 2022 for a serious health issue, it caused a stir and drew a lot of attention from the media and fans. As a celebrity, her condition was of deep public concern, and the news left many people worried about her health. This time, Chip had to face another fear, worrying about the woman he loved most. During this difficult time, he realized more than ever the impact his health ordeal had on their personal lives and their family. So where was Joanna now? What about her? Will she be okay? What does this mean for Fixer Upper? I have a lot of questions. Let's start from the beginning and examine it thoroughly. An account of Chip Gaines' life. Chip Carter Gaines has been a multifaceted character in American media and entertainment since his birth on November 14, 1974 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. He and his wife, Joanna Gaines, have become famous for their work in acting, producing, television, contracting, and writing. A one-of-a-kind brand was born from their collaboration, and it has revolutionized the home improvement and lifestyle media industries. Chip's abilities extend well beyond his cinematic roles. People all across the globe have grown to love him for his magnetic personality and his honest perspective on work and family life. When their program Fixer Upper debuted on HGTV in 2013, the couple immediately became household names. When Chip and Joanna first started in the home improvement industry, it was years before they became famous on television. Fixer Upper had previously repaired 100 houses when the pilot was recorded. The show's popularity and the couple's status as home renovation gurus were both bolstered by their broad background. The Magnolia brand, which Chip and Joanna built beyond their work on Fixer Upper, became a dominant force in the home design and lifestyle market, further expanding their impact. Among the many projects they've launched under the Magnolia brand is the Magnolia e-commerce site, where customers can find hand-picked items that capture the essence of Magnolia's aesthetic. Thanks to their partnership with Target, the hearth and hand with Magnolia line makes more affordable home decor goods available to more people. Another major development of its brand and features, Fixer Upper, along with its spin-off programs and other lifestyle programming, is the Magnolia Network television channel. Included in the Magnolia brand is Magnolia Journal, a lifestyle publication that explores themes such as home design, gardening, cuisine, and family life. Chip Gaines is well known for his writing and his involvement in the media. Two of his self-help books have been bestsellers in the New York Times. On top of that, David and Joanna wrote the biography The Magnolia Story together, which gives readers an inside peek at how they went from being entrepreneurs in a tiny town to being media moguls. Then how was it that he managed to pull this off? The road to success was far from smooth for him. He started attending Grapevine High School in Colleyville, Texas when he was 8 years old and was a baseball player in his junior and senior years there. Coach Mickey Sullivan of the Baylor Bears baseball team saw his talent while he was a student at North Lake College where he pursued his love of baseball. But when Chip went to Baylor University, his baseball career came to an end and Sullivan retired not long after. Chip was thus benched. He persisted over this obstacle and earned a BS in business administration from Baylor University in 1998. He piqued an interest in real estate flipping as a student at Baylor University and embarked on his business path in that field. Recognizing the opportunity to turn cheap buildings into lucrative investments, he entered this sector during his second year. This set the stage for his 2003 real estate business, Magnolia Realty, which he co-founded with Joanna. When we talk about Joanna, we have to mention that fate brought them together in 2001, which started a wonderful partnership and a prosperous business empire. Their romance flourished rapidly, and in 2003, they tied the knot. Waco, Texas is home to both their brand and their five children, whom they have raised together. Following their nuptials, the newlyweds set their sights on growing Chip's real estate investment firm. Chip's expertise 
expertise in renovations and Joanna's inherent sense of style made them a formidable duo in the Waco, Texas region. Incorporating Joanna's distinctive interior design throughout their projects led to rapid expansion into retail as their firm expanded. Before their meteoric rise to fame on television, the brothers had already made a name for themselves as real estate renovators in their hometown. They would often have as many as 30 contractors and a small staff working on several projects simultaneously. The Fixer Upper Reality program was about to be launched though, and they were prepared to take the next major step. When Chip and Joanna Gaines first gained notoriety in the early 2010s, the home remodeling and improvement sector was thriving in the U.S. This growth was driven by a combination of economic causes, market trends, and homeowners changing tastes. Real estate values fell after the financial crisis of 2008, making many homeowners reluctant to sell. They opted to concentrate on enhancing and updating the residences they already had. Rising property values without breaking the bank on brand new properties quickly gained popularity. Concurrently, there was a rise in the practice of incorporating entertainment into home improvement projects. The rise in popularity of house flipping, interior design challenges, and home improvement reality TV series is largely responsible for this. Extreme Makeover Home Edition, which ran from 2003 to 2012 and was a major player in the home improvement industry, established the notion that drastic changes might be motivating and uplifting. Property Brothers, which debuted on HGTV in 2011, was another prominent show that took use of this rising interest in home remodeling. The show's hosts, twin brothers Jonathan and Drew Scott, used their knowledge of real estate and home improvement to assist viewers in finding, purchasing, and restoring rundown properties. Launching in 2013 concurrently with Fixer Upper, another major program that aided the house improvement fad was Flip or Flop. Flip or Flop, which starred Tarek and Christina El Moussa, was about the fast-paced, high-stakes world of real estate flipping, where the stars bet big or lost big on the acquisition, renovation, and sale of homes. The home restoration market in the U.S. was worth hundreds of billions of dollars when Chip and Joanna Gaines came on the scene. An aging housing stock and a continuous rise in home prices boosted expenditure on home modifications and repairs in the U.S. alone, reaching roughly $340 billion by 2015, according to the Joint Center for Housing Studies of Harvard University. A new chapter in the couple's story began in May 2013, when the pilot episode of Fixer Upper debuted on television. The idea behind the show, which entailed making beautiful homes out of rundown or abandoned properties, struck a chord with fans. Season 1 of the show show premiered in April 2014, although its devoted fan base had already formed by then. Seasons of Fixer Upper premiered in January 2015. December 2015, November 2016, and November 2017, with the show's popularity continuing to grow in the years that followed. The show did double duty by showing Chip and Joanna's talents and promoting the farmhouse chic style, which was all the rage in the late 2010s for interior design. As a result of Fixer Upper's direct impact on national housing trends, their influence extended far beyond the realm of television. Architectural elements like wainscoting, shiplap, clawfoot tubs, and barn doors were all the rage after after the event. Zillow found in its 2018 housing market analysis that homes with these characteristics fetched 30% more than expected. Also, the show brought in a lot of tourists to Waco, Texas, who bolstered the local economy by becoming the couple's cult followers and fans. I want you to know that there was more. Establishing and expanding the Magnolia brand. After finding success with Fixer Upper, Chip and Joanna decided to start their own company, Magnolia, to capitalize on their growing impact. Magnolia Journal is a quarterly lifestyle publication that started publishing in 2016. It covers topics such as gardening, home design, recipes, and inspiration. The newspaper became famous overnight, drawing in admirers from all over the globe and establishing itself as a must-read for anyone who cherished the couple's distinctive style and values. When Joanna debuted her hearth and hand with Magnolia Collection at Target in November 2017, it greatly increased their retail component. To make Joanna's vision affordable and available to American homes, this collection was curated with over 300 items ranging from bedding to lifestyle accessories. Joanna also debuted an exclusive collection for Anthropology in 2019, which was two years after the launch, to further expand their brand's reach into home design. The rugs and pillows in the collection drew design ideas from all across the 
globe. They made the announcement that they were launching a media firm in April 2019. Chip and Joanna served as chief creative officers, while Allison Page, who had previously served as president of HGTV, joined them as president of the new enterprise. They intended for this project to be a stepping stone toward their eventual goal of launching their television network, later called Magnolia Network, that would air lifestyle programming that reflected their values of home, family, and community. To their already prosperous Magnolia Table and Silos Baking Company, the Waco coffee shop Magnolia Press opened its doors in November 2019. In addition to serving delicious food and coffee, these spots were integral to the Magnolia culture. With a four-hour show on the DIY network dubbed Magnolia Presents, a look past and a look future, the Magnolia network formally launched its premiere with a soft launch on April 26, 2020. The actual launch of the network was postponed until 2021 due to the COVID-19 epidemic. Fixer Upper, however, will resume production before its debut on January 5th, 2022. Welcome Home, a spinoff of Magnolia Network's Fixer Upper, had a soft debut on Discovery Plus in January 2021. In 2022, Fixer Upper, the castle followed, delving into the restoration of a historic Waco castle. The next year, 2023, saw the debut of Fixer Upper The Hotel. With an official grand opening set for November 1st, 2023, Chip and Joanna Gaines' new Waco, Texas Hotel, Hotel 1928, has begun accepting reservations. With more than 6,000 square feet of event space, 33 guest rooms, and three restaurants are available at this hotel. The Magnolia Network aired a six-part series called Fixer Upper, the hotel that chronicled the whole refurbishment. The Gaineses, Chip and Joanna, have changed the way people view houses, interior design, and way of life in addition to building an impressive profession for themselves. But we can't finish the narrative without delving into the delightful power couple's other side as well. Joanna Gaines's Amazing Life. Joanna was born on April 19, 1978 in Wichita, Kansas, to Jerry Stevens, an American of Lebanese-German origin, and Nan Stevens, an immigrant from Korea. The beginning of her parents' multicultural family came in 1969 when Jerry was stationed in Seoul, South Korea, with the United States Army. As one of the few Asian-American children in her schools, Joanna encountered unique obstacles as a child of mixed origin that impacted her formative years. Joanna had a hard time fitting in as a youngster because of her unique upbringing, which led to bullying and isolation. Along with it, the Stevens family moved to Austin, Texas in 1990 when she was 12 years old in search of better chances. They finally settled in Waco, Texas during Joanna's junior year of high school after a long and difficult relocation. The relocation to Waco was a watershed moment in Joanna's life, marking the beginning of many personal and professional transformations. Jerry Stevens, her father, established Jerry Stevens Firestone a Firestone Tire franchise in Waco. It was at this place that Joanna started to feel accepted and valued by her community. As she got more active at school, she was named Homecoming Queen. To further promote her father's tire company, Joanna even made an appearance in several local ads. Joanna went on to earn a communications degree from Baylor University after finishing high school. She attended Baylor University with the firm intention of becoming a television journalist. She put in a lot of time and effort as an intern at local stations in Waco TX, such as KWTX TV and KWBU Radio. For one semester, she followed her passion and interned on CBS News 48 Hours, hosted by Dan Rather in New York City. Joanna gained valuable insight into the media industry and solidified her goals for a career in journalism through this experience. Life had different intentions for Joanna, despite her ambitions to be a broadcaster. A fortuitous encounter with Chip Gaines occurred after his 2001 graduation from Baylor University. Despite attending Baylor at the same time, Chip and Joanna never met in person while they were there. When Joanna went back to Waco to work at her father's tire store, Chip finally recognized her from the ads. She captivated Chip to the point that he started talking to her, and they hit it off immediately. They tied the knot in 2003 after a flourishing romance. Joanna joined Chip's real estate and house flipping firm soon after they were married, bringing her own style to each project. Working in tandem, Chip's practical restoration expertise and Joanna's artistic sensibilities and attention to detail allowed them to completely revamp the company. In 2003, they made a huge move by launching Magnolia Market, a small retail store in Waco that offered home goods and design products. This was a significant step for them. In addition, Joanna started a blog in which she documented their many restoration endeavors. Through the medium of her writing, she gradually built a devoted following by sharing tales of their experiences, design advice, and insights into their family life. 
an executive from High Noon Entertainment, a production firm that is seeking original material and captivating hosts for television, found their abilities through this site. High Noon Entertainment is looking for both. Chip and Joanna were recommended by the executive to create a sizzle reel, which is a little video that is intended to present a prospective television program to networks. There would come a time when this basic notion would develop into the phenomenon that is today known as Fixer Upper. Fixer Upper made its debut on HGTV in 2013, and as we have previously discovered, it was the show that brought Chip and Joanna to the attention of the general public. In tandem with the couple's growing notoriety, their family also expanded. As they juggled the responsibilities of their flourishing jobs with the joys and hardships of having a family, they became parents to five children, Drake, Ella, Duke, Emmy, and Crew. They welcomed these youngsters into their community. When Joanna talks about her life, she frequently emphasizes that her family is the most important thing in her life. They are the ones who direct her choices and feed her enthusiasm for designing beautiful and useful rooms that are filled with love and warmth. All of this, however, has not been devoid of its share of challenges a position that is contentious. As a result of the church's stance on LGBTQ plus issues, Chip and Joanna's membership in the Evangelical Antioch Community Church has been the focus of a substantial amount of attention. The congregation, which is led by Pastor Jimmy Siebert, is against marriages between people of the same gender and LGBTQ plus rights. The year 2016 saw Chip and Joanna make an appearance in a video chat with Siebert, who is known for holding these controversial ideas. This led to the emergence of controversy. The couple's public image was significantly altered as a result of the backlash that resulted from this occurrence, particularly in light of the fact that they are well-known individuals in the public eye and hosts of the immensely successful show Fixer Upper. It was their apparent support for Siebert's beliefs that sparked the criticism, which in turn sparked conversations on social media and among fans regarding their stance on inclusion and the values that they promote via their business. Being associated with such views may have significant repercussions for company partnerships, sponsorships, and market reach in a culture that is becoming increasingly focused on diversity and inclusiveness. Chip and Joanna are just two examples of the many businesses that want to build an image that connects with a large number of people. This is especially true for businesses that are in the lifestyle and home decor sectors. Being linked to such viewpoints may result in customer disapproval or a decrease in trust, both of which are undesirable outcomes. The couple's answer, or lack thereof, to clarify their position on LGBTQ plus rights became a huge discussion topic, which influenced both the public's opinion of them and the path that their brand's growth would take. Chip and Joanna Gaines were subjected to legal and financial repercussions in a separate incident that occurred in June 2017. The United States Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, brought allegations against them for failing to comply with federal regulations concerning the safe handling of lead paint during home renovations. These allegations were brought against them because they failed to comply with the regulations, protecting workers, homes, and children from the hazardous effects of lead exposure, which may cause major health difficulties, particularly in young children, is the primary goal of the laws that have been established by the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. To resolve the claims, the two individuals agreed to pay a fine of $40,000 and committed to comply with these laws going ahead. The incident brought to light the need to adhere to safety regulations in the remodeling sector, which is important from a commercial point of view. The pair has managed to maintain a somewhat optimistic attitude for themselves despite the difficulties that have surrounded them. When a terrible event occurred to Joanna, it was only natural for others to express their condolences. Sadly, Joanna was given a diagnosis. The announcement that Chip and Joanna Gaines were expecting their fifth child made news at the beginning of January 2018, when they made the announcement online. The news was disseminated on Instagram, and the fans of the pair were quick to express their happiness at hearing the happy update. Nevertheless, in the middle of the deluge of words of congratulations, admirers who were paying attention saw something troubling in the ultrasound image that accompanied the announcement of the pregnancy. It was seen by several people that there seemed to be an excessive amount of fluid surrounding the fetus. This caused some people to be concerned about the health of the infant. Some people speculated that the fluid may be an indication of a significant medical disorder known as hydrops fatalis. This condition is characterized by the accumulation of abnormally large volumes of fluid in two or more parts of the body of a fetus, and it is frequently connected with severe problems. Because it can occasionally be fatal, the fears that were voiced by fans were not without 
basis. Dr. Nicole Safier, a radiologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, responded to this notion by stating that although there were signs of extra fluid in the skin, it was not always a clear marker of Hydrops Fatalis. She made this observation in response to the generalization that the condition was present. Her emphasis was placed on the fact that ultrasounds can occasionally reveal results that appear to be concerning, but they do not necessarily result in a serious diagnosis. This health concern occurred at a very difficult time for the Gaines family, as they were already in the process of negotiating a huge adjustment in their life. After only a few months had passed, in October of 2017, Chip and Joanna announced that the fifth season of Fixer Upper would be their final season. It was important to the couple that they put their family life first. Because their four children, Drake, Ella, Duke, and Emmy K, were rapidly maturing and they were expecting another child, Chip and Joanna thought that they needed to concentrate on their jobs as parents and cultivate the relationships that were most important to them. Chip has been quite open and honest about his decision to leave the program in several interviews. He explained that the demanding schedule and expectations of television production were beginning to have an impact on the dynamics of their family. Both members of the pair were fully aware that the speed of their work made potentially lead to exhaustion. Additionally, in terms of one's professional life, the last thing they wanted was to get to a point where they were so preoccupied with their work that they failed to see the value of the moments they spent with their families. Also, in June of 2018, they welcomed their fifth child, Crew Gaines, who was born in good hell. <laughs> Despite the early worries that were expressed during the ultrasound, he came without incident, and his family expressed their happiness to their followers about the arrival of their son. Joanna is quite active on social media, and and she routinely posts updates on crew, praising his accomplishments and their lives together as a family of seven. However, the health issues that the family was experiencing were not yet resolved. Chip Gaines suffered a heart attack in 2017 when he was 43 years old, just one year before the announcement of this positive news. When he was working on a construction job, he had chest trouble, which prompted him to make an emergency trip to the hospital, where he ultimately underwent surgery. After some reflection, he concluded that it was vital for him to prioritize his well-being and to be there for his family. Naturally, he is committed to living a lifestyle that is beneficial to his heart, which includes engaging in frequent physical activity and maintaining a nutritious diet. Not only was he able to make a full recovery, but he also began to advocate for heart health. He made use of his platform to raise awareness about the significance of identifying signs and preventing heart disease. However, this was not the only thing. Joanna Gaines needed to have back surgery in December 2022. She discussed the event on many social media platforms. It was a gesture that resonated with her cheerful and tenacious character that she added a photo of herself in a hospital bed, wearing a pair of sunglasses, and flashing a peace sign in her post. An injury that she received more than 20 years ago was brought to the attention of her followers by the caption, which explained the cause of her visit to the nursing home. According to Joanna, the root of her back problems can be traced back to an incident that occurred during her time as a cheerleader in high school. More specifically, the incident involved a basket toss move that tragically led to a major back injury. This incident marked the beginning of a long-term fight with her spinal health, a journey that had led her to many medical procedures over the years. This struggle had been going on before she was injured. The first microdisectomy that Joanna had was performed in the year 2001, not too long before her life would get linked with chip gains. A microdisectomy is a surgical operation that is intended to alleviate the discomfort that is produced by a hernia disc pushing on nerve roots that are located nearby. The timing of this treatment was so significant that it even prompted her to call off her second date with Chip. The microdisectomy that she underwent for the second time in 2022 was either a continuation of that condition or more accurately the solution to her spinal troubles. The term microdisectomy refers to a spinal operation that is considered to be minimally invasive. To ease pressure on the spinal nerves, this treatment involves the removal of tiny fragments of the herniated disc, bone, or ligament. This surgical procedure results in a considerable reduction in pain as well as other symptoms associated with the condition as a result of the fact that this method is intended to reduce the amount of time required for recovery in comparison to more invasive spine procedures. Patients can return to their regular lives more rapidly. 
badly. Even though the operation was successful, Joanna was not in the best position to have it performed at that time. It is one of the busiest periods of the year for her and her family, as she openly acknowledged in her article. And the Christmas season is one of the busiest times of the year, during a time when she was already juggling the responsibilities of parenthood, the stress of the Christmas season, and her professional obligations, the unforeseen obstacle that she needed to overcome was the requirement to have back surgery. Nevertheless, in a manner that is characteristic of Joanna, she accepted the circumstance with poise and cheerfulness. During what is often a season of frantic activity, she expressed thankfulness for the opportunity to relax and ponder, acknowledging that the forced slowness was a hidden blessing. Her advice to those who followed her was to concentrate on finding contentment in the here and now, and she urged people to find happiness even when things did not go according to their plans. Numerous others, particularly those who are familiar with the stresses and expectations that frequently accompany the holiday season, found that Joanna's observations struck a chord with them emotionally. The words that she spoke served as a gentle reminder to enjoy the times of quiet and tranquility that occur in the middle of the commotion. Chip and Joanna Gaines have decided to take a break from the always hectic pace of their public life in the wake of the numerous health concerns that they have had. They have moved their emphasis from being at the heart of the home restoration and design business for many years to focusing on their family and overseeing the expansion